going to go ahead and get started. My name is Ellen Connor. I am the product training specialist here at New Line Interactive. And thank you very much for joining us for our webinar series on mass notification security be benefits of security man um, benefits there. This is going to feature one of our new products called New Line Display Management. Now, before we really get talking about New Line Display Management, some of its features, some housekeeping things. I do want to point out that there is a Q&A feature within our webinar here. Feel free if you have any questions to so go ahead and enter them there. At the end of our call, I will uh, go ahead and address any of those questions that you might have. I also want to point out that uh, for those that stay towards the end of our presentation today, we have a $100 Amazon gift card up for grabs. Um, so go ahead and stick around as long as you can so you can have the chance to win that. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and have a seat at my desk here, and I'm going to share my screen with you and talk about New Line Display Management. All right. So here you can see this is the web portal for New Line Display Management, as well as my panel that I have in the background here. So New Line Display Management, this is a feature for IT departments to have the ability to control and have access to all of your New Line panels that you have. I'd like to point out that this is going to be for our current models that we have. This is going to be the RS, the VN, as well as the X series. Now with New Line Display Management, there are gonna be two main components to this. The first is gonna be the ability to send mass notifications to the panel, as well as from an IT standpoint, again, to be able to control all the devices and provide support. Now here on the web portal, you can see that I have the ability to add my devices with this add device. All I do is I tap on that button there, the um, New Line Display Management on my panel. It's gonna give me a PIN number and I enter that and I can now pair both my panel to my web portal. Now, since this is a web portal and New Line Display Management is cloud-based, you will be able to manage this from your computer, your phone, anything where you have access to the internet. Now, as far as the first main topic of posting mass notifications, here, I have the ability to post an alert. Now with these post alert features, these can be used for different things. You can use it as an extension to your security measures that you take now. You also can use it as another notification for inclement weather, um, company-wide picnics, or assemblies that you may be having within your schools. So how this works is, for post alert, I'm gonna go ahead and send my message. And once I select post message, you can now see on my panel, hopefully it's a little bit hard um, to see there, but a screen comes over and my panel now says that I have an assembly at 3 p.m. This notification will come over no matter what you are on on, on the panel. If you are using the embedded side of the panel or you are using a computer plugged into it, it will show over that. Now with this notification, you do have to actively read it and dismiss it in order for it to leave the screen here. To do that, I will just simply select dismiss. This is a way for you to ensure that the person using the panel did see the message. Now currently, the Post alerts feature, it would be something that you would kind of have to post in the moment. Now, in the future, we will have the ability for you to post them in the future. In the, in the regard of next Wednesday, we're going to have a fire drill. We're going to create a post alert that we'll send out at that exact time. So I can schedule those for the future. So that, again, is gonna be one main feature of New Line Display Management, just being able to send out the mass notifications. You also, from the IT standpoint, you will be able to provide support from New Line Display Management 
without really walking around to multiple buildings and different classrooms to be able to help. Now, here within New Line Display Management, I have my panel listed here as one of my devices. You can set these up in, in groups, so they can be divided up based on your um, based on your building site, your school location. They can um, be broken up that way. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and edit my device and just walk you through with some of the different buttons that we have here. So on the left, you can see my multiple menus where I can get device information. I can see what source you are on. So if someone's using the onboard computer or they tell me that they have it plugged into HDMI 1 and they really don't, I have the ability to manage that this way and kind of monitor. I also can play with some settings on the panel. I can adjust the volume if I would like to. I also can switch their sources for them. Another feature is the ability to push out apps. The apps that you would push out, they would have to have an APK file that you find from the internet there, but you do have the ability to add those um, from your, mo uh, your web portal here. You also can post a screensaver. Um, this ability where if your panel is idle for X amount of time, you can go ahead and put up your company logo or pictures of students, something that could fit your organization there. And those can be dismissed by simply tapping on the panel as well. We, this does allow for pictures, but you also can have um, videos going as well that you can add there. You can also schedule your auto power on and off for the panels. So for instance, if every Monday you have a meeting at 7 a.m., go ahead and have that scheduled to turn on at 6.45 you know, so you can get ready for that 7 a.m. meeting. And it can be specific to the day. There's also, you can see, another way to get to your post alert feature down at the bottom left. Again, whatever message you would like to send across there. There's also the power off button. You do have the ability to power off the panel right from your web portal here. Now lastly, over on the right, we have the remote support. And how this works is when I touch on the remote support, it is now going to give me this message when I say call this device, my panel will get a message where it will allow for you to accept the call. And when I select accept here, it is going to allow for me to take over the panel. So I am not up there, but you can see that if I tap on the settings button in the top right, excuse me, I need to take control here. And from there, if I tap on the settings button, it will allow for me to now go through and manage their devices from here. So if I need to um, adjust the toolbar that they have on the side, if they decide that they want to have a different connection or a different favorite connection, you can address that right from the panel here. The feature also with the remote support does have a microphone so you can get the audio as well as a call up in the corner. I have a video of me that we can communicate over that while doing the remote call here. Then to stop that, I can go ahead and stop control and disconnect. Again, if someone does want remote support, they will need to, again, actively accept that from the web portal there. So this is the New Line Display Management. Um, down the line, some of the other features that will be coming that are on our roadmap um, is going to allow for different accounts to be assessed. Um, you can have granular permissions. So for instance, if we have... Um, a head IT person at the district level, and underneath that we have two or three other people that manage different sites. 
they can have their sites listed underneath them. So one person does not need to manage all of the devices. We also will have the ability for from the web portal here to deliver OTA updates. So it does not have to be managed from the exact device level. You can also, as I mentioned earlier, create pre-created messages that you can schedule in advance. There will also be the ability from the web portal to secure what apps and things are added to the panel where a user cannot go up to the panel and customize it that way. It would be locked down from the IT's um, portal that they set up there. You also will be able to customize the home page and some of the features there, as well as I mentioned earlier, you would be able to deploy um, mass apps, mass APK files to the panel so you do not have to individually go to them. So this is the New Line device management system. If you are interested in getting this, this is free. It is included with your purchase of your New Line panels. Again, this is going to be for our current product line. So that is the RS series, the VN series, and the X series. If you are interested in this, if you want to reach out to your New Line sales representative to help um, get that, that again is a, fr it's a free cost, go ahead and reach out to them. If you're not quite sure who your new line sales representative is, you can feel free to contact me. My email is just webinars at newline-interactive.com and we can help set you up with that. I am now gonna go ahead and answer some of the questions that I see here and then we will go to our drawing for our $100 Amazon gift card. The first question is asking if the, the notifications have audio. Um, they currently do not, but that is a feature that we will be adding that you can. Um, I do want to point out that the panel would need to have the audio on there. Um, the second question is, can you control the OPS? This is going to be for the embedded side of the panel. So um, if you have another device that allows for you to control computers, the, um, as far as a mobile device management, that would be something to use for the OPS. The second question, if I were to push an APK to the panel, would it success, su successfully install without having the Google Play Store? Yes, you would not have to do it with the Google Play Store if you find, for instance, a Google APK on the internet, you can just send that one directly to the panel. Will there be an APK to integrate the post alert feature with an existing emergency alert solution? Um, Jeremy, that is a question that I will check on. That is something I am not familiar with, but I will go ahead and um, send an email out after this um, with that information that I find out. And then again, just asking if you can um, manage the OPS remotely. The, this is going to manage the embedded side of the panel. It would not be able to manage the uh, OPS. But again, I, I will check on that if something is different there. That may be something we're looking for in the future. Um, yes, for someone asked if the network that we would have to use is the embedded side. Yes, since this is cloud-based, your panel would need to be able to connect to the internet to be able to have um, control with the web portal there. There's a question if there's any plan to allow the notification to be a document or a PDF, et cetera. Um, there are plans for that. Thank you very much for asking that, Bill. Um, yes, there will be the ability to add images. Um, for example, you know, a, a fire drill, we don't know all where the exits are every time. It will allow for you to add images there for those alerts. Um, George asks if APK files void the warranty. Um, George, I am going to check on that. I have not heard anything like that here at New Line, but I will double check and I will make sure to send that out to everyone as well. Um, as of right now, I'm going to say no, but again, I will check on that. Jeremy asks, will there be any way to power a panel on from the cloud? 
some way to keep the panel connected even when on standby mode. Right now, there is not the ability to power on the panel itself. Um, that is something we are looking at for the future. However, you do have the ability to set the auto power on and off feature. So those are the questions I have right now. I'll give you a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw for that $100 Amazon gift card. I do wanna thank you all for joining us here today um, to discuss new line device management. Again, if you would like to have new line display management access to the web portal, it is free with your purchase of new line panels. So reach out to your new line sales representative or you can contact me um, Ellen Connor, my email will be webinars at newline-interactive.com. And John just said, thank you for providing this webinar. You are very welcome, John. Thank you for being able to attend. All right. It looks like we do not have any other questions right now. So I'm going to go ahead and draw for our Amazon gift card. Um, if I call your name, go ahead and um, we have your email address, so we will reach out to you tomorrow and get that sent to you. Oh, great. That is a very funny. <laughs> all right. Sorry, guys. Can't all see the messages I'm getting. <laughs> all right. So our Amazon gift card is going to go to George. It looks like George Allen. So, George, we're going to go ahead and send you an email um, shortly after this with your email address. Um, and if you can send your address back, that'd be great. All right. Thank you again for joining us. Please let me know if you have any questions. Again, my email is webinars at newline-interactive.com, and I can help you get you set up with any trainings on your new line device management or your system in general. Thank you. Mm -hmm.